I'm in the semi-final. It's just, it, it, it is a fantastic story. It's just the guy who's done the system, who's living his dream. The bottom line is I've got a job to do. It's great being here. It, you know, the story's nice and everyone knows the love I've got for this competition. But I'm here to do a job as well. I'm a, you know, I'm a three-time BDO world champion who wants to prove himself in the BBC. You know, you've got to put yourself in that mindset now. This place has just had Michael Van Gerwen against Steve Beaton. It's late at night, I play the last game of the night, potentially as late at half past ten the start. Um, so the place is going to be rocking. Uh, and I'll be walking now, my knees will be knocking as I, as I come here. There's no, you know, there's no two ways about it. It's how you manage your nerves. Got a few fans coming as well uh, from Middlesbrough, like I, like I always do, and I think they'll be so impressed with this stage. We shake hands, pump fists some people, six, nine darts at the board, and, and then we're ready. It's a dream come true. I don't want to sort of over-egg the pudding type thing, um, but it's uh, pretty special to be here right now. Probable that Lewis will come back from this. Wow, they're wild. Sheesh. <laughs> that is a wild look at the reaction there. Tucks to close out the match 10 4 and move to the second round versus MBG. Tops it is. Glenn Durant moves into the Second round, beating Adrian Lewis 10-4 with a 101 average. Do you want a minute or? No, I'm fine. Part of me wanted Steve Beaton to win. It gives me more of an opportunity to win. But what an opportunity to showcase my talents on Tuesday night. The reason I came to the PDC was to play the best. I got a message off Phil Taylor today. Phil Taylor messaged me. You got to go in my dark room. You know, when my daughter moved out my house, I took her to her bedroom. My my room is a shrine to Phil Taylor, and he messages me, "Good luck, Glenn. You know, all the best." I wish I was bullish. I wish I was Corey Cadby. He was going to rip everybody's heads off. Uh, I wish I was like that. I'm watching Bristol behind you right now. I wish I was more like that. Durant has been the better player, but well, he hasn't fought an opening yet, but this could be it against the dark. Two at double 12 to maintain a two-leg advantage, and his mid-leg move is decisive. action of Dozer. That is the winning double. The three-time and reigning BDO champion beats the reigning PDC world champion. Glenn Durrant wins a memorable game against Michael Van Gerwen.
Can you believe that? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And no more walks down the beach. Look at the state of my head. I suffered with sunstroke up there. Oh, God. The, the best moment I've ever had. The birth of my daughter, my marriage, my first lakeside, that is incredible. All them years of dedication and practice and you know, it all goes into this one shot here and uh, you know, it arguably could change my life. You know, it, it arguably puts me on the map on the PDC. I'll be coming out fighting for James Wade. I mean, what a draw. Adrian Lewis, Michael Van Gerwen and now James Wade. I mean, if I am going to go on and win it, I'll be doing it the hard way, but tonight I'm going to enjoy it. Wade waiting. Oh, that's down in hand. Does it, does it? Two tops for a spectacular finish and a magnificent place in the quarter, the semi finals of the match play. What is happening? It's just, I mean, you've followed me all week. It's just this guy who just maybe wanted to do half decent against Adrian Lewis to say to the PDC crowd that this BDO player is here. He's, he's, he's here to make a statement. Yeah, I, I get past Adrian Lewis, then I've got a real opportunity against Michael Van Gerwen and somehow get through playing a lot better. Uh, I felt fantastic tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm really gutted that I've only averaged 92, 93 because I felt really, really good. It's a fantastic story. Uh, if, if we can make it all the way to the winner, then the three of us have just uh, had the best journey ever, but I'm absolutely living the dream. If I was 20 or 30 year old, I think I'd be doing this for the experience. I might never get another semi-final of a world match play, um, so you have to grab these opportunities while you can, so I'm here to try and win it. You know, for the Blackpool crowd to take to me, I mean, they could drag me to this title. It's just, I will live this moment. Yeah, I dare to dream. I dare to dream after I beat Michael. I won't lie, I never once thought that uh, winning the title. Against Michael, I, I'd have took an 11-8 loss and with another 100 average just to so Michael could shake my hand and say, let's have some big battles over the next few years. And now I'm in the semi-final. To reach double figures in double quick time. Yeah, this is astonishing. Michael Smith. Michael Smith has missed Ordinary one dart a double and it cost him nothing. He's given it some now. Five legs of the spin. That the throw has been broken. for Glenn Durham, but it's been some performance from Michael Smith. Michael Smith, Smith rolls.
comes through to the World Map Play Final. Brilliant from the young man. We're going to have a new name on the trophy. The fairy tales ended. Uh, I thought you two boys were following someone who was going to go on and win the world match play. But Michael, Michael's a terrific, an amazing player. He's a, he's a Premier League player. He's, he's probably got more talent in his little finger than I've got in my whole body. But he doesn't work as hard as I do. He doesn't have the experience I do. And I, I, I was trying to, I was trying to use that as my, uh, as my incentive, my motivating factor. I'm sure there's positives tomorrow. I've reached the semi-final of my first real TV stage, but. You've got to grab them opportunities when they're there, and uh, it's not often that you're in the world match play semi-final. And uh, I'm immensely, immensely disappointed. I'm a, I'm a ten-minute man. I, I sulk and I cry for ten minutes, and it's probably where I'm. I'm probably at seven and a half minutes right now.